risque behavior. Dating, specifically older men dating younger women. Now, a lot of people have different opinions about this. I've noticed lately there's a lot of women standing up against it. They're calling it predatory behavior. There's some men that's, they don't think it's cool either lately, you know. Um, so tonight we're going to be talking about that. Before we start, I am going to give five benefits for older men dating younger women, younger women dating older men, and then I'm going to do the cons as well for an older man dating a younger woman and vice versa. So for me personally, though, I couldn't date somebody that was like, it couldn't be more than five years younger. That That's for me personally. If I'm looking at somebody else's relationship and somebody said, hey, what do you think about their relationship? I would say five to 10 years. Anything more than 10 years to me is kind of like, eh, because I just don't know what y'all would have in common. I don't know what you would talk to that person about. That's, that's a significant age gap, anything more than 10 years. So. But I want, you know, anybody, anybody that's watching, make sure that you form your own opinion, get in the comments and let me know what you think is too much of an age gap. You don't have to agree with me at all. You got some people that feel like, hey, you should just date somebody your age. But I think five years, that's a that's a good, healthy number. So we're going to start off with the benefits, which is OK. So older man dating a younger woman so number one is vitality and energy the younger woman's energy and zest for life can be infectious encouraging the older man to explore new activities and perspectives number two different perspectives she may introduce him to current trends or new ideas keeping him connected with the younger generation's viewpoints and technologies. Mm, I don't know if how many older men would accept that. I don't know. Sometimes to me, it's like the older you get, the less you care. You don't even want to learn about their new trends and stuff. But anyway, three, nurturing aspects. So the older man might enjoy the role of being a mentor or guide, sharing his life experiences and wisdom. Four, rejuvenation. Being with someone younger can evoke a sense of youthfulness and adventure in the older man. Mm hmm. I want to know, like, how long does something like that last? Because it's always. Any relationship is rejuvenating in the, in the beginning. Right. But I think compatibility is that thing that carries y'all through time that's what makes the relationship last to me anyway five comp complimenting life stages and forgive me i'm a little tongue -tied. i was eating one of them freezy drinks and i need to drink some warm water or something like that but <laughs> number five complimenting life stages the older man likely more established or settled can provide a sense of stability and security that is often appealing. Boom. So those are five benefits of that older man dating that younger woman and stuff. And I also asked, um, I was also looking up and putting together some points for the younger woman dating the older man. So I guess this would be her benefit. So number one, younger woman dating the older man benefits are one, maturity and stability. I already figured that one. So older men often bring emotional stability and maturity to the relationship, which can be comforting. I get that. Two, this is probably like the first point most guys would point out is financial security. They are more likely to be established in their careers, offering financial stability. 
three life experiences. Older man can share valuable. Older man can share valuable life lessons and experiences, providing guidance and mentorship. Number four, different priorities. The difference in life priorities can be complementary as older man might not be as focused on trivial matters that younger man might find important. Now that one I think is a that's a big deal because um, as an older man he shouldn't he should not be showing insecurity the way younger guys you tend to be a little bit more insecure. And I think that falls in line with that, you know, older man kind of not worried about what some of these younger guys worried about. They don't want to waste their time on little silly arguments. Number five, focused on the relationship. Older man may be more ready for a committed relationship, having passed the stage of casual dating. So those are the benefits. Okay. And so then I also uh, did the cons as well. So. The top five cons of an older man dating a younger woman. Okay. So. Number one. And the cons to me. Before I say them real quick. The cons to me is like the most important thing. Because I think in the beginning. Everything is lovely. Everything's beautiful and stuff. But I think. The cons start showing themselves. The longer that relationship goes on. You start to realize like. Mm. Is this really going to work? Hmm. So, number one, differing life priorities. The age gap can lead to differing priorities in life stages, such as career focus, starting a family, or lifestyle choices, potentially leading to conflicts which is natural because y'all in different stages of life and I can only guess that if you're doing an age gap that's more than 10 years that's really really got to hit you hard that you know that's got to make it worse number two generational gaps so that's the differences in cultural references, music, and technology can lead to a lack of common interests or difficulties in understanding each other's viewpoints. Number three, social stigma and judgment. Couples may face societal judgment or disapproval, leading to stress and discomfort in social settings or within family dynamics. Yeah, it's going it's to be hard. You showing up with grandpa. People going to have something to say about that. You showing up with this girl. Look like your daughter. So number four is uh, future caregiving. Caregiving concerns. So future caregiving concerns. So as the older partner ages. The younger may have to take on caregiving roles. Sooner than in age match relationships, which can be a source of stress. I don't think a lot of people think about that part, though. Because that person going to get older and you're going to have to take care of them unless you're just going to walk out on them. So number five, insecurity and jealousy. Insecurities may arise with the older man possibly feeling anxious about the younger woman's social interactions or attractiveness to peers, potentially leading to jealousy and control issues. Boom. And to finish it up, we're going to do the cons of a younger woman dating an older man. So I guess this be more geared towards if a younger woman asked you, should she date an older man? And you had to give her five cons. So number one, power imbalance. There can be an inherent power dynamic at play with the older man in a more financially or socially dominant position, which might affect the equality within the relationship. 
And um, I can definitely uh, see that he might try to big boy you. I'm older, I know more, uh, you know, to different social circles and interests. The younger woman might find it challenging to integrate with the older man's social circle or to share in activities that interest his age group. Of course, that's only natural. They are older, have more experience than you. They might not be able to um, really talk to you about anything. I mean, if he's significantly older than you and you're at one of his social functions with his friends, they're sitting around talking about their children and you're kind of like in that, you know, it would just be weird. Especially if it's a significant age gap, they're going to be like, my daughter's only like three years younger than you and Bob is dating you. And I think it would just be awkward. I, I don't know. But number three is family planning um, discrepancies. If the younger woman desires children, the older man might not share the same enthusiasm either due to having grown children already or not wanting to start a family late in life boom and another um, thing too would be a man who is older without kids and he's dating a younger woman now when it comes to pushing out a baby and stuff of course a man doesn't have to do that so he's not necessarily on the clock but he may be on a personal clock because if he's 40 years old, he's still going to want to try to get that child out because you definitely want to be able to run around with that kid and be able to do things with them. You you wouldn't want to wait much longer than that. I don't think you would want to be. Most men would not want to be 44, 45 with a newborn. So if he's 30, 38, 39, 40 years old, he may put too much pressure also on that younger woman. Like, come on, let's have that baby. You know, so that's another way of looking at that um, too. So number four, long-term health and energy levels. As the older man ages, differences in energy levels and the health can become more pronounced, potentially limit shared activities or um, lifestyle choices. And another thing too is um, typically women's sex drive goes up and typically man's sex drive goes down. So that's another thing about it. You're already with this younger woman and she's just getting better and better when it comes to that. And yours is kind of like, mm. Some would use that as an argument to say that really it's, young men should just date older women. But anyway, um, number five, expectations and life experience. The older man's life experience might lead to him having set expectations for the relationship or how problems should be solved, which could clash with the younger woman's views or need for personal growth. Which is probably what's happening now because um, some of these older guys still remember a time where women may not have voiced their opinions so loud. And so you can't just tell them, shut up like you used to. You know what I mean? You can't do that anymore, man. It's equal rights. It's equal rights. It's equal. Risky behavior.